I beg of you, church, if I pastor you, don't be part of any plot to cause another man to fail. Please, I beg of you, don't sit in meetings, don't sit in anything at all where people are gathered. Listen, I'm warning you as your pastor, don't be part of the failure and downfall of another man. If any man will fall, let them fall by themselves. If any man will fail, let them fail by themselves. But don't ever sit in a meeting and you look at someone who God has put his hand on or someone who is doing well and all of that. Listen, the sky is too big for every you will do well don't look at your neighbor that is prospering more than you and all you are doing is that what can i do in order to pull your neighbor down listen people of god if you are thinking of pulling another man you too you will go down though do you think you're the only one praying this prayer are you the only one on the altar of fire people of god you do not know they might not be there but their brothers are there their sisters are there and they are covering all of them with prayer don't be part of a plot to bring down another man because whatsoever a man sows that he shall reap there are people they are not that fine but their hearts have made them so beautiful there are people when they are coming, they lighten up the room because their hearts are there every time you come everybody wants to work on action people want to uh, check what they are going to say because you will pick fault with what everybody has said the problem is not the people the problem is your heart I need to let us know this people of God some of us the people who work for us cannot laugh around us some of us if they throw a joke at you they have to sit down and explain to you why they had to throw that joke and all of that people of God if you are not commended on a daily basis you have a problem if you are rebuked you have a problem if you are told what to do you have a problem if you are told to sit down you have a problem man watch your heart the reason why God can take you to some places is because your heart is in a bad place. You cannot submit to authority. That, that, that's a problem. You know, pastor, I am very edgy. I'm very edgy. Everybody is now suffering from OCD. No, sir, nothing is OCD in you. The major problem you have is what? Your heart. The Bible says, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it comes the issues of life. Some of you young girls are wasting my anointing. Every day I'm releasing Marita Grace. Marita Grace, Marita. But listen, keep quiet. Let me finish, you know. I'm releasing Marita Grace, but your heart, your heart, your heart. All the scars you have carried, everything you have done, you enter into it, you put the person on the edge, they are being careful, they want to know, because all of you, who called you, why did they call you, where are they coming from, they were human beings before you entered their life. Keep your heart pure, watch your heart, everything is not that bad, everybody is not against you, everybody is not working against you, everybody is not wishing you failure, have a pure heart. Read your heart of unnecessary competition. People of God, God will bless them, but God will also bless you. Have that at the back of your mind. God blessed you and did not shut the door permanently. The same way he blessed you, he will bless another person. So why are you getting edgy? Because another person is also rising. The same way he caused you to come on, fix your heart.